what if we have less dimensional, so two dimensional, that is easy to imagine, there can even be a one dimensional coordinate system, and that coordinate system is a coordinate system of any linear geometry. So I'm going to draw a curve here. I've got a curve, and I can imagine that there is a coordinate system like a scale or a measurement scale, like a ruler, on the curve here. Not only that, I can imagine that the steps here, like the centimeters or inches, here would be different, like their distance would be different than here, and then again here. I can imagine that this had its own coordinate system, and in fact it does. It's called a domain, and I'm going to reference this curve into Russell curve. So I've got a curve here. And I'm going to extract its domain directly. I just go to the primitive and take the domain. Again, it's a parameter. You can find it here. And here, let's have a look. And it tells me this information. That the domain here is from 0, 0 0.0 to 287.1 something something. Well, that doesn't tell me much, but in fact I know that this is the beginning of the curve, this is the end of the curve, and if I measure the curve along its path, then here the length is going to be zero in the coordinate system of the curve, no matter where the curve is, and all the way I go here, and at the end, the, the coordinate on the curve would be 287.1. How do I use it? I go to the curve and take evaluate curve uh, component, which is, which I don't see now, but yeah, here, evaluate curve, it's this one. And it's got two inputs. One is the curve, and one is something called parameter t. Uh, this might be a bit confusing because I told you that parameter, what is parameter in Grasshopper? Well, let's call it a t without saying parameter, but parameter is probably mathematically correct. But let's call it a t. And a t is actually a position on the scale in the coordinate system of the curve itself. So not in the world coordinate system, the Cartesian um, uh, coordinate system, but in the coordinate system of the curve. So I'm plugging this one here, and I want to set a number that is going to be between 0 and 287, which is, I'm going to use again the scroller to set the number, and the output would be a point on the curve, and two more outputs. We are going to discuss those uh, just in a bit. So, if I set this parameter to zero, the t to zero, then I'm at the beginning of the curve. And the farther I go, the more I slide along the curve. And I know that the very end would be 287.1, and it's the end of the curve. Actually, not the very end, because there is still something extending, because I didn't set it properly. But if I just go lower here, I slide along the curve just a bit back. So what does the domain actually mean? The domain tells me that the internal, custom, local coordinate system of the curve starts on the value 0 and ends on the value 287. Why is that? I don't know, because, well, there's some internal logic of Rhino that creates the domains for the curves automatically. I don't know why does it always start at 0 and goes all the way to something random, but I know that I can trim this curve in Rhino. I use the trim command, and I trim it like this, and the curve has changed now, I just delete this, and the domain doesn't start at 0, it starts at, at 15 point something, and goes all the way to 287. So this is the domain of the curve. And let's draw another curve here, and this one is going to look like this. 
And you should remember that the domain doesn't have to do anything with the length of the curve or with, a, with its real scale in the coordinate system or with its position. The domain only tells you that the custom coordinate system, one-dimensional coordinate system for the curve exists within the boundaries of um, the beginning of the domain and the end of the domain. You might ask what happens if you extend the domain. So now if we extend it below 15, we know that there was there used to be something. Rhino actually remembers what used to be there. And it lets us slide also along the non-existing part of the curve and even beyond the one that never existed. So we can go all the way to minus whatever we want or all the way to plus um, 300 